Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I hope in the Lord, I trust in his word. With him there will be kindness and plenteous redemption. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue of Nazareth, Amen, amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to the widow of Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet no one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to heal him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. I think the, the most important dimension of this Gospel is that Jesus comes for everyone. He comes for all people, all races, all languages, and he is singularly this reality that is the source and potential to heal the entire world. Naaman, in that first reading, we hear the account, and it's interesting that Naaman, as, as it's noted in the gospel, was not Jewish. He was like a military commander, so the king thought he was being set up, being set up to lose a big battle. But God had different plans. He was trying to show his power and his glory. So my brothers and sisters, we really need to recognize that God is in control of everything. Everything will work out in the way that God wants it to work out for those who put their faith and trust in him. It really is an amazing thing when we think about it, the peace and security that we have when we put our faith and trust in Jesus. We place no hopes on anything in this world, and yet we know that God will give us all that we need to accomplish whatever he would have us do. But boy, is that a scary place to be in, really. It is not very natural for us to live our lives in such a way, but yet that's what we need to remind ourselves of each and every day, that God really does have this and that he will get us through all the different difficulties and problems in our life. And as I said, the beginning is that God comes for everyone there's no room for hatred in our lives, in our hearts, for anyone. There are so many people in our world that do not know what they do not know. And hopefully we can win them over by our compassion, by our love, by our tolerance, by our understanding, even in the face of their hatred towards us. It really is. Look at what happened to Jesus. I mean, they were ready to throw him over the cliff. He was just pointing out, hey, God did all these powerful things. Why can't you be humble enough to recognize that and see it? It's a great challenge. Let us pray that we see as God sees and never lose heart, that we just continue to try and strive and put our trust more completely and more perfectly in Jesus, the God who saves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We pray for the church, that she may be a light to the nations and a guide to all peoples, we pray to the Lord. For all nations throughout the world, that they may know and serve the common good and not be motivated by greed and self-interest, we pray to the Lord. For Larry Wittick and Carol Root, the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. 
For more vocations to the priesthood, religious life, faith-filled marriages, and the dedicated single life, we pray to the Lord. For an end to this pandemic, Lord, we pray. For all the first responders, all those people who, who are struggling to keep our society safe and secure, that they may give what they're needed to persevere in these difficult times, we pray to the Lord. That all corruption be uncovered and those responsible for it lose their power or be converted so that we can have leaders that respect life, religious liberty, and all that's in accord with natural law, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of the people gathered here before you, those spoken and those kept in the silence of our hearts. Answer them in so far as they meet our deepest needs and are in accord with your holy and divine will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 